Good afternoon. Temperature is pushing 80 degrees in the Star City right now. Hardly a cloud in the sky. That hazy sunshine out there. Certainly feeling and looking like summer winds out of the east southeast at about 10 miles an hour. Those are going to crank up a little bit over the next couple of hours. Dew points right now hanging out in the low to mid 60s. So again, we do have a little bit of humidity out here. Here is our next system. You kind of see that spiral in between Chicago and Detroit. You see a cold front here back off towards our west ahead of that front though, pushing 80 in Lexington, Kentucky. There's that cooler air behind it. There's that cooler air north of a warm front. You can clearly see where the warmth is surging, though. Pittsburgh coming in around 80 as well. 79, a popular number. That's where we sit in Blacksburg. Roanoke, 72 for us in Hot Springs. We've already hit the 80-degree mark in Lynchburg. 81 in South Boston. And some of us are going to flirt with 90 degrees a little bit later on this afternoon. You see it there. We're going to get back to the mid to upper 80s by 4 or 5 o'clock. Gorgeous evening to take dinner outside. Other than a stray shower sliding through the highlands, we're going to be on the dry side today. Better opportunity for some rain coming by Thursday and Friday. You see 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Most of us are not even falling out of the 60s, so a very, very warm start to your Thursday as well. Pretty much continuing where April let off in terms of averages. Again, of course, we have turned the page into May. Average high on today, 72 degrees. We are way, way above that already at the lunch hour. 79, our averages turn to, though, by the time we get to the last day of May. Average lows pushing 60 degrees by the last day of the month. This is another big thing, too. Of course, our sunsets have gone beyond 8 o'clock. 49 minutes of extra daylight will be gained as well. That wind starting to crank up a little bit. 20 mile per hour gusts in Lynchburg right now. 23 mile per hour gusts in Hillsville. Again, this is out ahead of our next system that is going to continue to swing those warmer temperatures in our direction. Gusts later this afternoon into that 25 to 30 mile per hour ballpark. Sustained wind there on the line of about 15 to 20 miles an hour through the second half of the afternoon and into the evening. So again, if you do take dinner on the patio, hold on to those napkins. There's four mile per hour winds, though, by the time we get towards midnight tonight. So it's not going to be an all evening thing. As soon as the sun goes down, we'll see those winds back off a little bit. There is that rain associated with the warm front, even some snow well, well up into Canada. We are obviously talking about none of that. There is the rain associated with our next part of the system. Again, we are in that warm sector, if you will, as that warmth continues to surge. Here's what I'm talking about tonight. Stray shower, a rumble of thunder, mainly into the highlands. Most of us are dry. Getting you into work tomorrow, there's 6, 7 o'clock. You see, again, we're going to be on the drier side. Watch what happens though tomorrow afternoon. System starts to get a little closer. We start to generate more of those thunderstorms with the heating of the day. So there's 6, 7 o'clock. Most of those, though, along into the west of Interstate 81, Lexington, Roanoke, Blacksburg, points west. I think most of us are going to be dry across south side tomorrow for tonight. We are going to be quite warm overnight lows back into the low to mid 60s and we just keep the warmth rolling mid 80s again tomorrow with a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. See a few more clouds bubble up in the afternoon lower to mid 80s on Friday is that cold front. We took a look at at west slides through a little bit cooler by the time we get into Sunday. Not a washout this weekend either. Back to the mid 70s, still above average though from where we're supposed to be. Absolutely, there are a lot of 80s on yeah. there, which is not typical for early May. It is not. Yeah, it's uh, tied for the sixth warmest April on record. So we've been warm uh, really over the past few weeks. It certainly has been. Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. You got it.